but I was 20. I messed up too because and then that 20 years, right? I left Lois' house when I was 14. They took me out. And then Jamie, in six years, you can't run to talk to nobody. I had no idea. I was serving them. And when they brought in, I would bring the tea before them and ask them how to fix it for them. In their face. And I heard them when I went to the kitchen. We don't want tea every day. That's when it started. I am showing you that I love you in the best way that I know how. Ruth never told Boaz, as far as we see, that she loved him. What she did was it started. What 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 took about that? And Moab biked his way was to walk through the fire, but what she did was she gleaned. The Moab, an adult way to do with children and new people that they came around was to make them walk through the fire. That's what they called it. Uh, the Chemoshes, right? They made the Chemosh, they served the gods of Chemosh, right? That's what Moab did. They made their kids walk through the fire for Chemosh. New people in your life, Chemosh, go and love Chemosh. You never told Boaz that she loved him. What she was used to was telling uh, people that she would uh, chimosh them. I chimosh you. But what she, even she realized that I'm in a different place. We no longer have telephones, so let's get rid of the line. I don't need a line connected me to something dead. A line connected me to something in the past, the past say. We don't need a telephone line. What we need is a new addition. God just brought this to my mind. We don't need Mr. Telephone Man. We don't need him either. Something wrong with my line Cause you call him wrong person stupid I'm sorry that's the way I see it If there's something wrong with the line If I, if I, if I call somebody and I'll get a response If I call somebody and I'll leave you a message You have to respond to me Either something's wrong with you or, or something's wrong with me Because if I, if I keep calling you that's called stalking right? Because I, you did not respond to me Therefore you do not want to talk to me Therefore you do not want my call You are dealing with your own things If you are that's fine but Mr. Telephone Man can help me if there's something wrong with my line. I gotta find the main line and get on it at the end of the day. I don't have how many cell phones I have. I keep two next to me because it's easy for me to get my stuff done. But it doesn't matter how many cell phones I have. At the end of the day, who's operating them? We're all connected. New York Telephone. What's the phones? No, they're not. If they weren't working the phones, how would they be working them? There's no more people plugging things in and plugging things down a headset or like that. But they, there are people here that's all, but they send it from a computer and now operating on your phone through that. If I don't see your bill has it paid and there's an invoice inside of your system that says you ain't got the money there, then I'm going to ask you for some money or you will not be getting operation. Mr. Telephone Man can't help you, sweet tea. Your bank is called Mr. Telephone Man. You want to see him? But I can't help you. Law 100. I am at a deficit. <laughs> that 100, I, I need money. Oh. That 100, my daddy still lives in earth. Wait, that 100, I need Jehovah Jireh. I need Jehovah Jireh. I ain't got no phone. And I can't work some phone. I can't work this phone because the phone won't do anything. If I, I can't work a phone that's connected to a system that I, and I have no, I have no, um, finger on. I'm sorry, man. I would first assume that I, now, this is the way I operate now, I would first assume, okay, he's doing this, could he be sending me a message? But I don't like mind games, so I, I would think, could he be sending me a message? And all the while, because I'm playing a mind game with you, I will be revving up hotter and hotter because of the fact that I know the moment I try to play your mind game with you, see, only people, two people can win at your mind game, you and your mind. So that I, but if you try to make me play your, your mind game with you, I'm just going to get pissed off at you. I'm going to figure out your game. I'll know what game you're playing before you realize it. But check this out. I won't play it. Because the only two people that are winners ever at a game that you start, at a game that you create. That's why we're not playing games with Sophia. Sophia made the best games. Sophia Fredrickson made the best game. Nine years old. But help, help me understand why you always win. Help me understand why you are always the winner 
That's okay. Help me get him out of that. I believe that the last thing that Saul lost that was a losing those a donkeys. He was still like, da, da, da. We talked about it yesterday. How Saul was looking for the ASS. This right, you know, he was walking down the street looking for ASS when he should have been looking for GOB. See, you know, you're looking for ASS. He was looking. That's what they say in the Bible. I still don't say if. That's what they say in the Bible. He was looking for a big fat donkey. He was looking for a set of donkeys, and I don't believe the donkeys even belong to him. He astral projects himself the situations. You always do that when you are not where you should be with God. You have a tendency to get on the main line and enter. Uh, pastor and then to project yourself into things where you do not belong. God has a project for you and a projection time for you to get it done in. But he needs you to come to him and talk to him about it because he has you stationed. He wants to keep you stationed in loyalty and he has projections for you. But how, how you mess up is when you go project yourself into somebody else's business. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember it. I could be wrong. But I don't remember the donkeys said that Saul was chasing. He was chasing the ASS. He became an ASS in it uh, because he was chasing something that did not belong to him. I don't know that, 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 that the, the name that was on the donkeys had anything to do with Saul. And I'm not playing with that. Forgive me, Lord, if it's taken the wrong way. That's what they were called. And God said, call them what they're called in the word of God. Why? Because then people will really put it together. If I keep saying donkey, I water it down for you. You don't really see how you look from heaven. You are an ASS. When God has somebody looking for you, you're looking for them. When God has somebody looking for you, you're chasing ASS. When God has somebody seeking you and pursuing you, Boaz was pursuing somebody and did not even realize he was in pursuit. He was in pursuit and did not even realize it. He was chasing and did not even realize that there was someone that was chased around him. He, uh, you know how he found out? He walked up to his own field and said, oh, Who is that? <laughs> the God will stop you. The, the king that God has for you, he will stop them in his tracks. He won't be able to get by you. Because your king is your kinsman redeemer. I don't care if he's white or black. He's your kinsman redeemer. Meaning, he's supposed to be a picture of Jesus in your life. He's supposed to be the head of your body as Christ is the head of the church. Right? So he's supposed to be head of your body inside of the house. That's so why I can't get with some women coming around talking about, I, my, my man ain't going to tell him. Nobody say, I'm not marry him and I'll give him honor and respect, but he ain't going to tell me what to do. Shut up! You've been crying for 50 years for a, a husband. God gave you a king and you got him in the hip. And you want to be the second head, hold, head householder of the heads. Of the holes of the head of the house. Some situations are so messed up, we don't know who put the ring on who. Because he said, God, he said God, God showed me what happens when, what happens when your house will be destroyed from the top down. Just ask Jotham. I think that was his name, Jotham. Because here's the thing. What happens when you, 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 you the house, y'all think it's, it's, it's crazy. It's funny. It's not. When the bow, when the arrow finds the bow and the bow doesn't find the arrow. And I mean, not B-O-W, but B-E-A-O. We call it B-O-W. Rain B-O-W. Because the enemy got y'all twisted. It's B-E-A-O. What happens when I find my bow and he does not find me? I, 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 I'm telling y'all personal experience. I, I became the male in a relationship. The only relationship that I had back in Jersey. Because you know what happens? He becomes an Ahab and he starts to get whiny. You don't hold him for any, to any accountability. I said, I'm tired. I'm only dating and it's been three years and I'm raising a child, a man child. You look like a man, but you are a child. I don't want to deal with that. You need a harem. I, 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 I said, well, will you at least go to counseling? He, uh, I will go to one service of church, but I will never go to counseling. We're done. I'm bipolar going to counseling. He was the one that told me he was depressed. And you won't go to counseling for it? You're just trying to bring problems in my life. You're not trying to do anything good with yours. You're a leech, a drain on society. You got issues that you don't even want to deal with. So I was a leech. So I was insecure. That makes you a leech. Anybody that's insecure will be a leech. They will drain the life's blood out of you. Don't let them get their claws in you, their hooks in you. They will take you, push you, pull you. One minute they want you, the next minute they don't. They cannot make up their minds. And they will take you on the ride with them. They will ride you like sorrow. I said, this time he will, he will get himself together. He will understand that I love him. No. This time you let him get close enough to you, he will kill you. Spiritually and actually. And physically destroy your life. 
And enemy is always taking and aiming shots at me because I'm so dedicated to God. Because you are so dedicated to God. So since I do blogs every day, I'm gonna do blogs all day long, and I'm always trying to help the body of Christ. And people are actually listening to me. Then he wants to take shots at me, not because of me, because I'm nobody. What he wants to take shots at is the fact that I make myself available for Jesus Christ. Oh my Lord, I don't know who you gonna reach today. Oh no, I just wanna tell him about my horns.